Just how long do Tesla batteries really last? In this video, I plan to dive into data from over 84 million drives, plus two specific examples to show just how well Tesla battery packs really hold up over time. I'm John, and this is Cleaner Watt. In the past, in order to get data on Tesla's battery retention with time, I reached out to Tessie, who is the maker of an Android and Apple phone application that connects to Tesla vehicles and provides added features, data, and insights, like, for example, battery capacity retention. And Tessie very gratefully has shared great data with me in the past. Beyond sharing data with me, Tessie has actually set up a page on their website which you can find at tessie.com forward slash stats. And on this page for Tesla vehicles, you can see battery retention by vehicle, efficiency by temperature, and efficiency by speed. I specifically wanna focus in on battery retention for Tesla's vehicles. And this particular data shows the battery retention averages, once again, for over 84 million drives for Tesla vehicles after driving 100,000 miles. After 100,000 miles on average, it looks like the Model Y will lose somewhere around 9.7% of its usable battery capacity, the Model 3 around 12.3%, the Model X around 9.4%, and the Model S around 9.3%. To illustrate what this means in terms of range, if you have a Model Y that starts out with 330 miles of EPA rated range and you lose 10% of the usable capacity after 100,000 miles, that would mean that your usable range would drop a little bit below 300 miles. So even if you lose 10% of your usable range after 100,000 miles, you still should have plenty of range to make these Tesla vehicles completely practical. Now, what about lithium iron phosphate batteries that are in Tesla's standard range vehicles? How well are those batteries holding up with time? Well, last year I wrote an email to Tessie specifically asking about Tesla's lithium iron phosphate battery packs and battery retention. And Tessie wrote back to me, quote, the brand new LFP batteries will degrade substantially quicker. There's not long-term retention data for LFP batteries on the market yet, but the trend tends to be substantially faster degradation. Trends show them stabilizing around that 10% degradation mark in about half the time as non-LFP batteries, around 50,000 miles instead of 100,000 miles. So while the nickel-based batteries used in Tesla's vehicles lose somewhere around 10% of their usable capacity after 100,000 miles, it looks like the lithium iron phosphate batteries lose around 10% after 50,000 miles. But I would expect that once again, that tapers off at that point and long term, I expect a lithium iron phosphate based battery pack to last longer than a nickel based pack because that's generally the case with lithium iron phosphate battery chemistry. I believe the reason why these lithium iron phosphate based battery packs are having faster degradation initially comes down to the fact that um, Tesla recommends that you regularly charge your lithium iron phosphate based battery pack to 100%. And this is necessary to balance battery cells and for the BMS system to accurately estimate the remaining range of your vehicle. But it does appear to have the side effect of faster battery degradation initially. Once again, long term, I still believe that lithium iron phosphate based battery packs should outlast the nickel based alternatives. But once again, initially, you should expect a faster drop to around a 10% loss after around 50,000 miles. Beyond lithium iron phosphate batteries, what about Tesla's first gen 4680 batteries? How well are those holding up? Back in April of this year, I reached out to Tessie to specifically find out what data they had for the battery retention for Tesla's 4680 batteries that are found in the standard range all-wheel drive Model Y, and do note that this data is from April, so it is several months old now, but nonetheless, after 50,000 miles, it looks like you should expect um, the 4680 batteries in the standard range all-wheel drive Model Y to lose around 5% of their usable capacity. Now, beyond that average data, I wanted to cover two specific examples, starting with a high mileage Model 3 example. In this AutoEvolution.com article from July 
of last year. This author specifically wrote about a Canadian Tesla Model 3 owner who last year was able to pass 310,000 miles or 500 kilometers of driving on the vehicle's original brakes and battery pack. When it comes to how much battery capacity was lost after that much driving, the author of this article wrote, quote, according to its owner, the battery has lost around 20% of its original capacity. Beyond the Model 3, here's an example of a high mileage Model S. In an Inside EVs article from December of 2021, the author wrote about a Model S 70D that at that time had 424,000 miles on it. At that time, the vehicle still had its original rear drive unit, but the front motor was replaced at over 380,000 miles. As for the battery pack, it was replaced under warranty at 250,000 miles, which means that the new battery pack had around 180,000 miles on it. The good news is that even with current battery technology, Tesla's battery packs last plenty of time. And this is only going to get better with time. Not only will it be cheaper to replace battery packs in the future, but the battery pack should last longer as Tesla continues and as other people continue to improve battery technology. Do let me know what you think about all this in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you. And also I'd like to say once again, thank you to all of those of you who support me through Patreon. Your support makes a big difference and really does help make these videos possible. If you'd like to find out more about how you can support my work through Patreon, I will put a link in the video description. Thank you so much.